Hello and welcome back to Seashorn Vlog. In today's video, I'm going to take you through all of the SeaWorld Orlando rides and rank them from my least favourite all the way up to my favourite ride. We've got a lot of videos in this series, so if you haven't seen any already, I'll pop a link to the playlist down below. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, we'd love it if you did that as well. Um, let us know um, how you rank your rides um, at SeaWorld when this video is over. But let's get started. So my least favourite ride, um, it's actually before I start my least favourite ride at SeaWorld, let's talk about a couple of rides um, that I don't consider rides. So the Sky Tower, um, I've never done it. It's an extra charge when you go to SeaWorld and I don't consider that a ride. Um, and the second ride that I haven't done is the absolutely terrible, from what I've seen and heard, Wild Arctic helicopter ride, which is just a bad Star Tours. So we're not counting those um, in this list. So my least favorite ride at SeaWorld Orlando is Antarctica Empire of the Penguin. Now, I'm talking about the ride specifically on this. So the ride is a really pointless thing. Um, the, the aim is to get to the end and see the penguins, but you can skip that and just go and see the penguins straight away. Um, the penguins are great. So if we, if we include the penguins um, that you don't need to do the ride for, this would be a lot higher up on the list. But specifically about the ride, it's pretty terrible. Um, I don't get it. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. And it's just a poor man's ratatouille really I think um, so that's why that is my least favorite uh, the penguins exhibit on the other hand love that but we're not talking about exhibits we're talking about right so that's Antarctica Empire of the Penguin so the next one up in my favorites list of SeaWorld Orlando is Journey to Atlantis which is a cross between a log flume and a roller coaster it does have a surprise ending which I may have just spoiled um, but I do like this. I've only ridden it once. Um, I don't know why. It's quite enjoyable actually um, and I should probably ride it again when I go back. Uh, it's It's got some good theming. Um, not as good as Splash Mountain say which would be the equivalent over at Disney. Um, but I do like the roller coastery bit at the end and it is quite quite a different ride at SeaWorld Orlando. So that's um, Atlantis, Journey to Atlantis. Uh, my next favourite ride at SeaWorld Orlando is Kraken. And it is a cracking roller coaster. Um, there's so many inversions on that. Um, it's fast, it's furious, and it's just a lot of fun. On our last trip, we got to ride it with Kitty, and she just squealed all the way around. And here's some footage. <laughs> How do you not enjoy this roller coaster? Um, to be fair, all of the rides at SeaWorld Orlando are pretty good. So even though the Kraken is lower down in my list, it's certainly not a bad roller coaster by, by any stretch. It's a really, really good one. It's got SeaWorld's got some of the best rides that you can get in Orlando, in, in my opinion, especially roller coasters. Um, so Kraken is a fantastic roller coaster, and that is the next one in my list. We've got three rides left at SeaWorld Orlando. I'm not including all of the kids' rides. And the next one on my list is Infinity Falls, which is, it's been open a couple of years now, I think a couple of years, and it's a really, really good River Rapids ride. Um, I really enjoy this. I've ridden it a few times now, um, and you can get not very wet to absolutely soaked, especially when it stops under the um, under the ramp that sends you down at the end but when you go underneath it on the way around and you get stuck under there you can get absolutely soaked and this ride is just such a laugh when you're on when you're on there with your friends and you just it's just so much fun um, here's a couple of clips of what fun it can be <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> it's 
turned the wrong way. Good. What I say, well, thank you. Wait a minute. I can't see. Oh! oh. oh. So as you saw, amazing. Like I really, really love this rapids ride. Um, it's probably one of my favourite water rides out of all of the parks in Orlando. And definitely go and ride this if you can. Um, so that's Infinity Falls. Um, is my third top ride at SeaWorld Orlando. My second top ride at SeaWorld Orlando is Manta, which is a fantastic flying coaster. It's meant to be that you're a you're a manta ray gliding through the ocean, but it's a flying coaster and it is so much fun, especially that very first drop rise. I'm not quite sure what the inversion is called, but when you're facing down the ground, you go down and then you're on your back like that and go under with your head here. And you, you, the G-forces that you get there are just amazing. That is so much fun. And this ride, especially if you ride it in the back side, so like the back row on either of the sides, it is just, so so much fun um, and scary in parts as well especially when you're getting whipped around at the back there so that's Manta is my number two which I'm sure you've guessed what my favorite ride in SeaWorld is um, already there it's Mako Mako is a fantastic roller coaster from beginning to end when I join that queue to when I leave that queue there isn't a moment that I don't enjoy it is so so much fun you have the tiniest lap bar restraint which just like kind of sits there like a little thing in your lap and you're free and even though that lap bar is really really tight you get airtime when you go around this roller coaster that first drop you leave for a few seconds you leave your seat and it is so much fun from beginning to end i love this roller coaster i, I want to ride it again and again and again um and I wish I could ride it more often than I do. Mako is such a fantastic coaster. Um, here's a couple of clips of what an amazing ride this is. so so much fun um, and that is Mako so that's all of the SeaWorld Orlando rides um, that I've ridden excluding the kids ones and a couple that I mentioned earlier on um, ranked for you um, tell me what your order of rides at SeaWorld is I'm always interested to know what everybody else's opinions are there and I know um, there might be a little bit of a disagreement between the top three Manta might be some people's favorites probably it's pretty close though between Manta and Mako to be honest um, and that is SeaWorld. Um, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below telling me what your favourite rides at SeaWorld are. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe because there's loads more content like this uh, coming up on the channel. Keep making memories. Catch you later for another top video. Stay safe.